here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. Joining me right now is the present CEO of Gun Talk, Gun Talk World Headquarters. Ryan Gresham joins us. How you doing, man? I'm doing wonderful. Good deal. So I guess we ought to start off with uh, what you have been up to, which occupied 142% of your time for the last <laughs> year or two. We just went out to the, the site there where, as we say, you're 90% finished and only have 50% more to go. That's it, yeah. yeah. You know, because construction projects usually finish on time and under budget, right? Uh, not in my world, no. <laughs> so evidently not in your world either, right? No, I, I, I didn't want to break the mold. So I, I kept with what we all know is, you know, it takes longer and costs more than you want. Yep, exactly. So I, tell them, people, what we're talking about, what you're doing there. So we have a new, you, you, you mentioned we're at the, the world headquarters of Gun Talk, and we wanted to expand that. We're at World Headquarters Light. <laughs> That's here, right. But you're building the big deal. Yeah, we have some office space that we rent, and we've turned part of it into a studio and that kind of thing. But as we continue to grow and do more things, we are, uh, we need to grow, right? We need more space. So mm -hmm. we found a space that was a, look, a bit more than what we were looking for, but it was too perfect to pass up, right? or too ugly to pass up. It was an old slaughterhouse that had not been in, in use in about a dozen years, mm -hmm. sitting there vacant, but it's it's a nice size building well, on a nice slaughterhouse. You mean really a slaughterhouse where yeah, they would butcher cows? Yeah, I things. think at the peak of it, they were they were butchering about four hundred cows per day. <laughs> yeah. But what's neat about it? It's a uh, it's a you know it's a nice size building, seventeen thousand square feet. It enables us to have, of course, our offices, bigger studio for filming content, TV content, online video content, all that stuff, but. It's also on 10 acres, so we said, wow, and it's it's just outside of town enough, right, 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 where we can build a shooting range, and so that's what we've done. We we were building out more than just, okay, here are some offices for us to do our gun talk thing. Right. Well, your, your vision is much larger than that now. Yes. I mean, we've always wanted to find more ways to connect with our audience, mm -hmm. whether it's radio or TV or online, and... Yeah, we've done some, you know, we do some merch things and sell some books and DVDs and that kind of thing. It's a tiny part of what you do. It's though. a really tiny part of what we do. And we said, well, gosh, we're reaching a few million people each month. Mm -hmm. What if we invited them to come to our place? Well, and what, what if they all came? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what if, you know, we, we offered classes uh -huh. and events and that type of thing. So we are expanding from just the media side of it to a shooting facility, training facility, events facility, where we have three different outdoor ranges um, from 100 yards to some shorter pistol range uh, big bays. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a classroom, pro shop, and a shoot house. Oh, a, a shoot not house. a live fire shoot house, yeah. but a shoot house. Indoor shoot, indoor shoot house with lots of rooms. And I mean, this was a, um, it was a slaughterhouse, so the rooms have thick walls. They're not thick solid concrete. They're actually insulated. It's like you're in a massive cooler, meat cooler, everywhere you go. Yeah, there's several parts of the building that used to be cold storage for doing this this processing of, of cows and whatever. Right. Um, which is kind of neat because it's pretty energy efficient, and <laughs> it also is pretty good for keeping sound out. So yeah, if got sound a, from the highway yeah, or if rain. You've got a full-blown TV studio, which, by the way, you're building in there, and it's yeah. one of those deals of you started, you, you're paying for your education as you go along on this one, aren't you? <laughs> yes, because you, you can't really, you know, a, a TV studio is a special type of building, a, a special type of construction. Right. And we need to keep sound out from, you know, trucks and rain and that kind of thing. We also need to make the interior of the room pretty dead so we don't have echo, echo. Right, right. And um, so, and then special electric special things for lights. Yeah, grids for lights and the whole deal. You might just talk about just, I mean, people would never even imagine you got a metal roof on this building. Right. So when it rains, rain on a metal roof is loud. Yes. So what do you have to do about that? Well, you just spend money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, um, you actually buy a special, what I've bought is a special coating that they spray. You can spray it or roll it on. It's basically a paint that 
is a deadening, a sound deadening, kind of almost a rubberized surface that you can spray onto the underside of a metal roof, and it right. produces vibration. And then you have to put in insulation, not just regular R30 or R whatever insulation, but soundproof insulation. So it's not just heat thermal insulation, it's something else. And just, just to give people an idea, a, a bucket of this special paint stuff you spread, or, you know, like each bucket is a very nice SIG pistol. Right. <laughs> yes. Five gallons is, I don't know, $500 yeah. or something like that. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, and you can't just have one. You got to have a bunch. Oh, no. So there's a lot of specialized things that we're putting into this, uh, but we're very excited about it. People say, where is it? It's in Robert, Louisiana, which is basically 45 minutes from New Orleans. Right. And or 45 minutes from Baton Rouge. 45 minutes from Baton Rouge and an hour from the Gulf Coast in Mississippi. Right. And then, of course, a short plane ride from anywhere. And it's just a, like a 22 pistol shot from the good food, no matter which way you go. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, good yes. food everywhere. Yes. So, all right, so you're going to be out offering classes. Yes. But not really running it as like a gun site type school. Yeah, gun site's awesome. They, they've been doing this for decades. Right. And, and they have their thing they do. And all the other, there's a lot of shooting schools out there now. Right. It's amazing. It's a lot of good ones. And But for us, we're still a media company, but we're we're doing some different things. We're kind of looking to create experiences. So I guess I could let the cat out of the bag. You guys know that we work with some of the biggest companies in the gun world. Sure. The, the biggest gun you know, makers, ammo makers, optics makers. I right. mean, everybody that makes the good stuff, we work with them. So what we're going to be doing is... We will have some regular classes that people can come take, but we're also going to have these experiences where it's brought to you by pick your favorite gun company, and we can have these experiences where you get to come do a class, but there's a lot of extra things. What, what KJ and I have talked about is we want to make this feel like when when I go or you go to a media event, we talk about this right. on the show, on the yeah. radio show. Oh, we, we I just get, got back from yeah, the... We get, we get to go to the cool places. Yeah, the Ruger so. Media Event or Mossberg, and I was doing and, this and And that. they have their brand name shooters mm -hmm. from their shooting teams, all that type of stuff there, and may have some of those show up at your we facility. Might. I hope. Yeah. Um, but make people feel like that. Yeah. So when you come to Range Ready, it's called Range Ready Studios. Range okay. Ready is is the training side. We thought Gun Talk was a bad name for a shooting school. <laughs> okay. But Gun Talk shooting school. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, but I like the range range. I know that everybody listening to this goes, well, yeah, well, I know Gun Talk, but I mean. But they're acclimated to that. Yeah, you, you guys know it. So that's what we're up to. And okay. um, so you said. So when? When, when, when? Um, I would say probably you look for starting in July is when we'll start offering. Yeah, just figure summer. Yeah. Second, no, no point in narrowing it down more than that. <laughs> right. Yeah. When you're under construction, you you pick big chunks of time as a as a deadline. Well, I was joking. You know, each time you go out to the out to the site, you know, the the guy who's working over, he looks at you and kind of wiggles his finger at you. Come over. Need to talk to you. You go. That's not a yeah, good thing. I have a question. Yeah. Or look what we found, which is the other thing. You're going. Oh yeah, we pulled the roof back. Look what we found up here. Right. Well, you you guys have seen home home improvement shows. <laughs> okay. So this is a a 40-something-year-old slaughterhouse that... 17,000-square-foot building. There's, there's, you know... It's a large home. There's some ghosts in there. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least.